Hello, and welcome to the Pup Mommy. So you're seriously thinking about getting a dog. Well, in today's episode, I'm departing from my norm and will attempt to discourage you from getting a dog, or at least thinking about your decision in a different way. So here are five reasons why you shouldn't get a dog. Reason number one, you're not ready for a baby. You're not ready for another child. A puppy is a four-legged baby. A dog is a four-legged child. If you're not ready for a baby or another child, then do not get a dog. Reason number two, you're not so willing to make a lifestyle change. You, other family members, you love going out with friends shopping, to sporting events, the restaurant scene, the nightlife or to places that don't necessarily allow you to take your dog with you. Having a dog means you or someone in the family will have to come home early to walk the dog or feed it, let it out. Now, be honest, if you're unwilling to make time or have the time for your dog, then do not get a dog. Reason number three, you want a dog, but your spouse or partner, or someone else in the family is hesitant. Well, before you bring a dog into your home and life, everyone must be on board, and I do mean everyone. Dogs are sentient beings, meaning they have feelings and emotions just like us. They know instinctively when they're loved and when they're merely tolerated. There is absolutely nothing more crushing than adopting a dog and then returning it. Unless everyone is committed to having a pup, do not get a dog. Reason number four, you're not known for your patience. In which case, I refer you to revisit point number one, or reason number one. Dogs require a lot of work to mold them through love and training to where they're your best friend and family member. Dogs have unique personalities, just like us humans, and you must work with them just like you would with any partnership, any relationship. And if a dog comes from an abuse, neglect situation, or a stay in the shelter, it will take them time to acclimate to you and their new home. And sometimes that acclimation can be days, weeks, or even months. So if you're not in it for the long haul, then do not get a dog. And finally, reason number five, you're not really sure how much a dog costs. Well, if you're a first-time dog owner, whether you adopt from a breeder, rescue, or shelter, your first-year setup costs will be a minimum of $2,000, sometimes much more. This entails not only the cost of the dog, but food and vet bills, the two most expensive costs in owning a dog, and also the purchasing of all the supplies needed for the owning a dog and its training costs. Now, based on the size of the dog, your annual costs can easily run $1,000 or more after that first year. And based on the breed of the dog you select, it can live anywhere from 8 years to 18 years or more. So do the math. And when it comes to vet bills, mm, a foreign object surgery, should your dog swallow something, can easily run $4,000 or more. Now, all of the dogs that you've seen thus far in this video, what do they have in common? They've all been surrendered to the shelter by their owners. 60% of dogs adopted do not have the same owner in the first six months of their adoption. Six out of 10 dogs adopted are returned to shelters within the first 60 days. And when you do adopt and return a dog to, let's say, an animal care and control shelter, that's a kill shelter. And that dog that you've just surrendered or is surrendered is placed atop the euthanasia list nine times out of 10. So think about that very carefully and think about whether you're really ready for a dog because less than one in 10 dogs born ever find their forever family. 
Now to help you out, I'll leave a link in the description section to my book, To Puppy or Not to Puppy. It's available on Amazon in ebook format, paperback, and audible. I take you through eight questions that you answer yes or no. And I promise you, I promise you, by the time you're through with that book, you'll know if you're ready for a dog. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click and subscribe because I'll be uploading more videos in the future. So thank you very much again for watching. Bye for now.